Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Wow, how exciting, guys. Make some noise. We're here on a Monday night. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Brian Redband is here, everyone. Hello. Look at this guy. The great Ryan J. E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episode. While you guys all sit there, he draws all the prints of every single episode, including the Kill Tony posters and tour posters. And uh, hello to everyone on YouTube watching live from around the world. That's always fun. I'm excited about this, uh, this episode, Brian. You guys excited to be here? Very good. Uh, this is an exciting week for us. This is our last show at home before we start the next stretch of our tour. This Thursday, we are in Phoenix, Arizona. And Saturday, still some tickets available, believe it or not, for the uh, Dive Bar in Las Vegas, oh, Nevada, yeah. which we've done before. A That's gigantic great. rock club. So much fun. And then next week, it just goes on Tuesday, Salt Lake City, then Boise, Spokane, Portland, Vancouver, Seattle. Two shows in Seattle on uh, next, next Sunday uh, yeah. night. That's exciting. And, and then back here Monday. Yep, every single Monday we're back here at the Comedy Store. And then we go back out the first week of June. Lawrence, Kansas, Omaha, Des Moines, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, and two shows at the Gramercy Theater in New York, New York. We added a second show to the already sold out Saturday night, or Thursday night, Gramercy Theater in New York. That's crazy. Yep. Those are the tour dates coming up. And then, of course, uh, Kill Tony Mania in San Francisco and the road to Kill Tony Mania in Sacramento. Now there's some uh, Northern Californiers here tonight. And uh, I'm excited about this. We have Caveman Coffee here, of course, on the, uh, on the old table. No Starbucks on our table no. like Game of Thrones. No. Yeah. no, we're different than them. I left it somewhere. It's Caveman Coffee all the way. It's great, all these great gigs. We get to do all these cool uh, people that we get to work with all the time. And, you know, hiring used to be hard. Multiple job sites, stacks of resumes, a confusing review process. But today, hiring can be easy. And you only have to go to one place to get it done. ZipRecruiter.com right. slash Kill Tony. ZipRecruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards. But they don't stop there, Tony. With their powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invites them to apply to your job. As applications come in, ZipRecruiter anal analyzes each one of them. <clears throat> And spotlights the top candidates so you never miss a great match. That's right. ZipRecruiter is so effective that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. You say that so much at the end of ZipRecruiter, I noticed that. You say, you say it like 20 times at the end of that one. What's that? ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. They, they, that's a, uh, it says a uh, must read. <laughs> it says must read and the sounds, check's clear, believe it or not. So natural. And, uh, so I just read it and I, every week I'm like, the check cleared? They're yeah, like, yep, right, all right. good. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it the same way because that is the smartest way to hire. Mm -hmm. uh, ZipRecruiter.com slash kill Tony. They Analyze. make you spell it too. It says read. It says uh, spell it out. I, I like it. I like it. They 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 know what they're doing and they're running a great business over there. You you've the, you've used them before to hire people on <laughs> things and uh, we use it here on Kill Tony. We like keeping things. Uh, we like keeping things all natural. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yet professional. Mm -hmm. Much like you should keep your your genitals and whatnot. Yeah. Which reminds me, support for Kill Tony comes from Manscaped. Evoking the memory and fear of nicking your ball sack while manscaping. <laughs> you know, they have this thing called the Perfect Package 2.0. Because the 1.0, they, they improved it over and over and over again. But this one features the Lawnmower 2.0. And this has skin-safe <laughs> technology. This does, like the first one, I think yeah. probably nicked you a little. This yeah. one doesn't. Right, right, this right. trimmer won't nick or snag your nuts at all. It's true. Ma Manscaped also have the Crop Preserver, which is an anti-shaving ball deodorant and <laughs> moisturizer. <laughs> You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why not put deodorant on the skankiest of your body? <laughs> <laughs> and, by the way, a couple weeks ago, you told me that, you, uh, that it came with ball spray. And yeah. I said it was cologne. And I had been putting ball spray on my face. Yeah. Well, I found out that that's actually not true. Like, they actually have a cologne, and it has the scent of manscaped. Well, then I've been putting cologne on my balls. <laughs> Always use the right tools for the job. Your balls will thank you. 
Get 20% off free shipping and a free travel bag with the code TONY at manscaped.com. And I'm telling you, they sent us these bags. They are really They're cool. Great. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code Kill Tony and take care of your stuff. Be a good guy. Take care of all that. Yeah. Take care of all that big dick Kill Tony confidence <laughs> that you have. And I, you're right. I do use it on my face and my balls. I'm not. It's my own body. Who gives It'd be a weird shit? if it was cologne and you sprayed cologne on your face, Brian. Like yeah. if it was actually cologne and it was cologne, you were. Spraying. No, I spray underneath my neck. Oh, but, okay. You know, I don't spray it on my mouth or anything. All right. Okie dokie. A little bit of extra ad reads for our advertisers. By this the way, week. if you get pulled over and you have a little thing of cologne in your car, spray it in your mouth. It it kills the smell of alcohol. Wow. Wow, that is a horrible idea. That is, that is alcohol. Alcohol is in that. I right. don't think it you know what. with that but other what, alcohol. Brian has no idea how they make cologne, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You saw it here live. Spray cologne in your mouth to get rid of the smell of alcohol. Uh, I'm excited about this episode. We always have the funniest guests in the world on this show. This week's no different. These are, this is fucking monster land, ladies and gentlemen. Two of our favorite guests. Make some noise for him. The great Steve Ranazizi and Andrew Santino. Come on, guys. Who has more fun on a Monday than us? Absolutely nobody. Whiskey Ginger Zone, Andrew Santino. What's the odds? Steve Ranazizi. Hey. Excited you guys are back here. Thank Life you, buddy. Is good. Steve, you're at Cobbs this weekend. Cleveland Hilarities next weekend. Andrew Santino's in Vegas this weekend. Vegas, baby. So are we. I know. We'll all Uh-oh. go together. Pew, 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 pew. Hit that thing. It's Hit going that down, thing. dude. We're doing it. You're in Raleigh. Good nights. The uh, the weekend after that, where we just had fun. We had a yep. crazy kill Tony there. Uh, we trapped the sound in those fucking brick walls. Raleigh's a fun place. Love that place. I'll pull it out when I get there. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, By the way, they were on Kill Tony's number 60 together back in the together? day. Together? Yeah, really? together. Really? Wow. No idea. Yeah, that's yeah. the first time we met. Oh, yeah. my God. Kill Tony number 60. <laughs> yeah. That is unbelievable. Really? You guys really? don't even remember that. We don't like Was it a ginger episode as well? Yeah. yeah. It was. Heavy I played ginger. red, red wine. No, I think it's awesome. Wow. Cool. <laughs> my goodness. Well, uh, things have changed since episode 60. We have Probably. A, we have a band on this show now. You guys yep. know about this? Oh, yes. Yeah. We have a band. You guys like bands at all? Every single week, they uh, play different characters, and they're master improvisers, and they hang out and watch the whole show with us, and you, we never know what they're going to be, what they're going to do. They have the separate green room, separate from ours, so we're always excited to find out. Some it's, sometimes it's the return of a famous character. Sometimes it's a brand new character. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> what? The guys from Home Improvement? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Oh my god, they are this is the first <laughs> What? This is the first time this has ever happened. Very exciting. <laughs> Not a broad uh, subject matter at all. This is a niche uh, thing. Uh, it's the cast of Home Improvement, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Wow. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Hotter than ever. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, show, show the audience how that tool belt's barely sticking. Yeah. <laughs> no ass. Turn around there, no ass. Holy shit. Man. Oh, wow. Oh, God. What a physique. Oh, my God. You need hips to hold that thing. You need suspenders for your tool belt, Tim. <laughs> my goodness. Tim the Tool Man Taylor is here from Home Improvement. Uh, Hiya, Tony. What, br- what brings you guys to kill Tony? Anyway, uh, I'm excited that you're here playing in the band tonight. We have Tim the Tool Man. Uh, right? Am I saying that right? Tim the Tool Man? Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. And then uh, clearly next to you, we have uh, the new Chucky doll for the new Child's Play movie. (laughs) This is what would happen if Chucky actually took over the body of the kid he was always trying to take over. (laughs) Chroma Chris. That's uh, that's Al, table for one, Borland. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Wait till you see his mother. (laughs) Oh. Oh my God! Oh, Chris, my exactly. mother is a fat cow. <laughs> and then back here, clearly, we have an immigrant boy trying to uh, sneak over the border. 
to America. They really built that wall, <laughs> Tony. Wow, it is part. I'm Wilson. <laughs> yes, no, we know. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Chroma Chris looks like the transitioning isn't going well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you bailed halfway through the meds. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, he is sick. Sal Borland. I love it. Uh, wow, a lot of production value. I, I love Very it, good, man. Great. I'm excited yeah. about this. You guys excited to have the cast of Home Improvement here? Steve Woo! Ranazizi, Andrew Santino, Red Band. We're, everything's, in, everything's in position. And here I have the uh, one and only Bucket of Destiny, ladies and gentlemen. A bunch of people signed up for the chance. Maybe it's an audience member. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's one of these many comedians that come every week. Some of them sign up for months and months, and uh, it all comes down to the luck of the bucket. If I pull your name out, that means you get 60 seconds on this stage. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. And then wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And then we talk with you and interview you and talk with you about things that uh, maybe we should uh, find out about you. Maybe there's other interesting things about you. You guys excited about this? Here we are. It's, uh, it's like Kill Tony episode 60 all over again. It really is. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Let's start the fucking show. I'm excited about this. Come on, guys. Make some noise one more time. Here we go. We're done. That's some... Uh, yeah. Things are going almost too smoothly so far for those of you that... Uh... All right, here we go. I pulled the name out of the bucket. 60 seconds uninterrupted goes to Sam Swenny. Sam Swenny. S-W-E-N-Y. There it comes, I think. Here we go. Hey. One more time for Sam Swenny. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I was walking down the street the other day, and I was smoking a joint, and uh, I walked past this homeless-looking guy, and he's like, hey, man, can I get a hit? And I was thinking about it, because I'm a nice guy, and then I was like, mm, sorry, man, germs. And he was like, oh, no, it's all right, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, the other day, I was walking down the street, same street, different direction, but I saw a sign for lost dog on the telephone pole, and it said reward dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, no specific amount, which is kind of bullshit because I got to know exactly how hard I should be looking, you know? And maybe this dog isn't lost, you know? This is Los Angeles, land of opportunity. Maybe it's just seeking out some new representation. You know, you see the billboards for a dog's journey. It's like, I could really be something in this town, you know? It's walking to Warner Bros. thinking it's going to be the next Air Bud. Looks over, it sees its picture on the telephone pole. It's like, what the fuck? That's not even my good headshot. Come on. Hell yeah, Sam Sweeney. Thank you, thank you. What song is that? It's the opening to Whiskey Ginger. Oh, <laughs> that's right. wow, right. that's so cool. Wow, really? <laughs> My thank you, man. The Home Very Improvement nice. Band, starting off strong. I, I, was I, it, uh, is it the same street that you were walking down both times, for real? It was Sepulveda. What's the street? Sepulveda. Sepulveda. Very nice. Were you looking for hookers? No, but I see them all over the place. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I was just thinking about like what I'm going to say up here. Wait, like, what? What? Walk, walking oh. on the street. I'm just thinking <laughs> oh. about like what I'm going to say up here. And what I did you think? It. I saw the sign and I was like, that's kind of bullshit that there's no specific dollar sign amount. Like, yeah. You are adorable, it's Sam. Out of, everybody, out of everybody on this stage, I'm surprised you're not the one in a 90s sitcom. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's was, a good one. Was, was Home Improvement a sitcom? I don't think that's the right word. But um, yeah, it was just, I just walk up Sepulveda a lot. I live on Sepulveda. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 22. 22 years old, just walking up and down the street like a grown man. You see a lot. You can yeah. see a lot. You go to that batting cage on Sepulveda? I do. I yeah, have, you're yeah. a fucking wacko, aren't you? You're a weirdo. Yeah. Strange bird. I do crazy things. You he got goes, kids? No. Yeah, no. He's got, yeah, he's got a lot of kids. So he's just, just going there to look at other people's kids? You play mini golf by yourself? I'm a kid. I, I go, I, I'm a kid. I have fun. I, you I have like your own batting helmet? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm a kid. I no. have fun. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm a no, kid. No, you're not. I have fun. <laughs> Is that where you're from, the valley? <laughs> no, I'm from, uh, originally I'm from Pennsylvania. Erie. What part of Pennsylvania? Uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie, Pennsylvania. I, I know all about it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I almost died there once. I almost drowned right there, right in the undertow please. of uh, Lake Erie. Yeah, people drown every year I had there. A Phil, Phil Collins <laughs> type of moment. Too bad. <laughs> it's cool. That's uh, it's pretty epic. You but. ever almost drown in Lake Erie? 
multiple times. Yeah, How about because... pussy? Ever drown in pussy? <laughs> I got to guess. Occasionally. Oh, 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 but no, oh, but oh, oh. we... But, like, oh, 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 oh. Tim, the tool Tim man likes Taylor it. likes that one. I like that one. Uh, <laughs> back back home, we actually have a lot of parties down by the lake. Uh -huh. So, like, a lot of people almost drown. A wow. Lot. Yeah. A lot of your first happen at a lake, like a first kiss or something like that? Uh, no. Well, near the lake, but, like, yeah. ge geographically close to the yeah, lake. Yeah, where did you drown her exactly? <laughs> um, Is it a tributary? No, 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 no. I yeah. didn't. It wasn't like that. It was... Uh, yeah. So you're uh, 22. Tell us more about being 22. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're asking me, <laughs> you're asking me if I ever drown in pussy. Uh, I I have had sex a handful of times, but I, I've never been a tested. handful. Is that what you call masturbating? Yeah. That's good. No, but. But a handful of times, good handful, and and I've never been tested. I've never been tested for STDs. But today I just went for my Here first time. Here comes a bit. I, it is. <laughs> nice. Whoa, you did get tested. Well, wait, we don't clap. He doesn't know the results we yet. Got, I don't even care. <laughs> no. I actually have the results right here, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Oh shit. But uh, I'm, I'm in the clear so far for the first test. So. In the clear. What was the first test for? Uh, rapid HIV. Wow. Um, oh, yeah. Whoa. Perfect. <laughs> Way to hit the guns hard right yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Rapid HIV. Do you do poppers? You seem like somebody that would do poppers. You no. Do, you no. look like you didn't get vaccinated. You've been vaccinated? Yes. Okay. Yes. Prove what are, it. Yeah. What, what are poppers? <laughs> what? All right. What are poppers? Do you know what poppers is? No, I have no idea. What's a popper? <laughs> no, it's uh, these gay it's from guys. The, it's they from do the '60s. It. Yeah, it's Red Band's it. making drug references. No, you can still 60s. buy. Yeah. You can still uh, buy them in some places. Raise your hand if you're doing poppers. Raise your hand. <laughs> oh boy! Look at wow. that. Wow. <laughs> hey, Louise. There's a whole oh popper <laughs> faction over here. No, I stay away from the hard drugs, though. I, right. I don't know. No, we were talking about jalapeno poppers. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. When'd you move here? I love it. A year and a half ago. About. How's it going? I like it a lot. I, uh, I I started out working for this guy who ran Airbnbs, and I just kind of got out of doing that. I was cleaning and like making sure the apartments have towels and toilet mm -hmm. paper. And all that yeah, thing. guy so, that paid you to sleep in his bed. We no, know. Yeah. but I just got done doing that, and I feel like a new person. Uh -huh. Like I wasn't able to focus on anything I came here to focus on, so I yeah. finally feel like I'm like. Because you were in. taking care of so many Airbnbs it's, that no, you couldn't you no focus idea. on your comedy. If you could afford a hotel, just do a hotel. All right, guys. Wow, look God. at you. You're no, like I some swear to God. What's going on in those Airbnbs you're cleaning? Yeah. <laughs> you see a lot of hidden cameras, there's don't you? There's some characters that go through them. Like what? What are you talking uh, about? What, like, what have you seen? Like one time uh, I came into an apartment to clean it, and there was a bunch of like Zippo lighters. And, like it just looked like someone was... Zippo lighters? Oh, and, like, whoa. Like, Shut what up. What the fuck no, were no, they no, doing no, in no, there? No. Did they have wicks? Oh, yeah. my God. Oh. The Church of no, Satan. Crazy. They were taken apart, and there was Wait wires, a minute, dude. Was there lighter ties. fluid all over the place? No. It was fuck. weird. It was weird. So, oh. like, I, I thought someone was trying to make bombs or something. So I actually How many Zippo? With Zippo lighters? <laughs> no, it, but there was cell phones, too. There was, like, cell phones and, and like, weird, cigarettes. weird shit. Like, oh, you're simple, yeah. bro. I'm telling you. And I've walked in. I've walked in on squatters before. Like, I was supposed to check somebody into an apartment, and I walk in, and there's people who are just in there. Like, well, how did they get in? You left the door on? Yeah, no, he left in. the door open, you dude. Fucking no, they broke in. How'd they break in? Uh, just the window. <coughs> did you ever, have you ever fucked in an Airbnb while you were cleaning? You ever invite someone you up? Did. You they, did. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, he did. Bad did ever, boy. Did you ever jerk off in one? You yeah. did. You filthy fucking animal. Before or after you cleaned it? Uh -huh. <laughs> like when the laundry was going. So. When the Whoa. after. That's a full after then. Not completely done. Just kind of killing time so when the laundry was going. You got tested time. because you've never used a condom. Is that why? I never. I, I have. Yeah. You've you, you've used one once. I always do. Oh, you always do. You, so so you, what'd you get you, tested you, for? Wait, yeah. yeah. Wait a second. They don't always stay intact. Bro, you're what good, is, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I was just. What does that mean? Stay intact. Do you take it off? Yeah. What do you take That's it off for? You're like, oh, it's not intact anymore. What do you take recorded. it off and stretch in the middle? Uh, so, <laughs> they just they just absolutely <laughs> break down like the shaft. That's they when the girl is dry. Break down the shaft. What are you, a urologist? <laughs> Sam, where have you seen this happen at? Where have you seen condoms break down a <laughs> shaft? I don't know why I'm talking about this. No, how you're wide, fine. Just stick with me. Don't, don't worry about them or that camera or any don't of the microphones. 
<laughs> Stick with me here, Sam. You're doing a good job. You're being honest. Yeah. Who's breaking down shafts? <laughs> me. I you break know. down shafts. Inadvertently, it happens. Yep. Yes. Ta- you're doing. Ta- yeah. And, yeah. The, and the girl's like, hey, just take it off and put it in. You're like, look, I'll just put another one on. No, they usually just act like they don't care. And I'm like, this is kind of. You just don't tell. I'm kind of worried how like unworried they are. Oh, yeah. Because they're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wo- I'm worried how unworried they are. Welcome to Los Angeles, yeah, bro. You're good. Yeah. T- Tony. That's yes. why I got to Yes, uh, I'm going to go to uh, Wilson. Our, Tony, our when I was in neighbor. high school, my health teacher put a condom over her head, and she said that if a guy ever tells her that the condom doesn't fit, that they're liars. <laughs> like Howie Mandel? She did the Howie Mandel She did thing? the Howie Mandel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a condom? Wow. <laughs> so you've never actually seen a broken condom before? No, I have. You have, but it wasn't on your penis. No, it was. It was. So you have had unprotected sex with a woman at Correct, one point. Correct, yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, you just put it right back in there? You just threw it in for how long? Uh, well, like once the damage is done, it's like... This, it's is, how we, this is how we do it. This is how Hulk we do smash. an STD it's test kind of here like, at the comedy it's kind of store. Like a, it's like a beautiful mistake. Like, yeah. You know, like, once yeah. Hulk breaks through the T-shirt, you're still going to continue the movie. <laughs> yeah. Tim the Tool yeah. Man Taylor. Are you looking for a condom that lasts? Try the Benford 2100. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right, <laughs> Sam. Well, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, so I was kind of just dipping my toes in the water for a little bit. Wow, look at that. Did you have condoms on your toes when you did it? <laughs> no. And then I just kind of started taking it serious when I came home from Christmas. I went home for Christmas. Of course. You went home alone for Christmas. Look at you. Everybody left me all by myself. Whoa! <laughs> it's and crazy like a- here in Erie, Pennsylvania, Christmas time. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, I just stopped working for the Airbnb guy, which was pretty much like I was an indentured servant almost. So it's like, I feel free now. No, not wow. seriously. It was a great job. It was good while it lasted. Take yeah. that, black people. It, it served its purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, the job served its purpose. But um, So I'm in gonna... a sense, you could say you leveled up in life, huh? Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ah, Timmy. No, I'm actually Bro, still currently comment. unemployed. So if anybody has any manual labor jobs... Uh, I don't think your body type screams yeah, manual labor. My resume does. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's looking to push a broom around, this guy's yeah. got you locked the maybe, fuck uh, up. Maybe, cool guy maybe Tim, uh, Tim, are you looking yes. for a new tool boy? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> tool boy? Tool boy. You need a tool boy, don't you? Everybody this guy wants to get boy. drilled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Sam, thanks so much for coming on the show. So Thank much you. fun. There he goes. Sam Swenny, everybody. 22 years old, he's already at the comedy store, making friends, doing sets, meeting people. I'm hoping some of these audience members signed up. We have a good-looking audience out there tonight. I'm telling you, not very... I don't think ever in the history of the show have I said that, but I'm looking out there. There are some charismatic faces. You see this fucking guy right here? Did you sign up tonight, sir? You. Yeah, you in the the cool cool shirt. Millhouse. Yeah. You, You signed up? Is it your first time signing up? Wow, very cool. You guys, hand- you, wait, you guys broke a condom before, right? For real. Oh, oh okay. Uh, we're going back on broken condom right now. But, yeah. uh, right. What do you want to talk about? No, that's a real thing. Okay. Yes, 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 indeed, Red Band. We know you are the king of breaking condoms. Yeah. You can suck your own dick, and anything that goes on your dick can break immediately. Uh, I've, I have, yeah, but it's usually when things are very dry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> which is all the time. Uh, three times in my life I didn't wear a condom. That's when I uh, made my three beautiful kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pull the name out of the bucket. 60 seconds uninterrupted coming from Thomas C. Nash, everyone. Thomas and Nash. Uh? <laughs> from that ledge, my friend. I wish that you would step back. I think he's stuck. Step back from the list, that's my friend. Is that him? Is that him? It is cannot that, be him. Is, is that Thomas back, C. Nash? Slow? Does he walk like The Undertaker? Here he comes. Oh, Jesus. He's nice. still coming. Here we go. Hey! Thomas Nash. Thank you, Chuck Norris and Christian Bell. So I'm clearly dressed like one of the members of Smash Mouth, 
And I just want to let everybody know that I am sick and tired of everybody not screaming when they're on stage. No? See what I mean? See, if I'm a guy, I'm supposed to be required to sit here and hold the mic with my shoulders closed like this and jerk off the mic stand, put it up and down. It's clearly at the level that I already need it at, but I, I, do I do this or do I fuck the stool? Do I come over here and fuck? Is this more of a fuck the stool crowd? I saw some UFC jujitsu guys out there. You're probably fucking, I better be careful. I just did a kick. That's half Brian Callen's act. Somebody beat the shit out of me for that right there. Still in jokes, doing a kick on stage. I uh, rode my scooter up here. I just bought a Vespa. Fat guy, scooter, Hollywood. Yes, that's the sound it makes when I started. Meow. 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 Gentlemen. All right, I guess so. I guess that's him closing out, Thomas C. Nash. So, all right. There's nothing... Uh, <laughs> Thomas. Hey, can I just say that set did not measure up? <laughs> uh, uh, Tim, very interesting. You have, you have all the uh, you have a lot of anger in you. I sense a lot of anger. You're like an angry R two D two unit or something like that. Just well, fucking. somebody once told him the world is gonna roll, and he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. So yeah. <laughs> Although the shed is where the tools are. And he is the roundest. Yeah. So it's easy to roll. Clearly. clearly, clearly Tony, did the you roundest. call him an angry R2-D2? More like angry R2-double-D2. Is that the one that rolls around? Like, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. The new Stop one? trying to be funny. It's not working. But, but that's the thing is, it doesn't matter if, Thomas, if it's they Thomas. don't think I I'm was funny. on the fence about you. No longer. Well, because eventually... If I keep coming around like a bad case of Hollywood Mike Herpes, eventually you won't forget me, and I'm going to be spread everywhere. Thomas, hold on. you got to sort of follow, uh, follow along with us here. Yes. Let's, let's check in again with Tim the Toolman. Tim, Tim. Tim. I, I am honestly shocked. I thought a guy with calf tattoos would have brought it. <laughs> so, Thomas, let's Give it up for Tim it. the Toolman Foxworthy. Okay. Thomas, stick with it. It doesn't yes. work when you make fun of characters. They, they're, they're impervious. But they're not though. real. But that's, that's like... So he Thomas, sold cocaine. Thomas, stick with me. Stick with me here. Just breathe, buddy. <laughs> breathe. Do you need your sleep apnea machine right now? What's going on? No. Just breathe. Stick with me no. here. It's a live show, so I'll, I'll help you through this. So let's talk about it, right? A lot of anger, right? <laughs> why, why I'm do you actually a pop-punk kind of happy guy. How long have you been doing stand-up? <laughs> This is my third time. Third time. Oh, yeah. And you're talking, well, and you, most of your complaints were about what you see people do, what? Like open mics and stuff? It was just sticks, you know? Like, I, I almost drunk a beer for 30 minutes. Like, drink the fucking beer! Jesus, come on. What are like, you, you're talking about the uh, comedians. Just, just, I, I'm funny. I'm funny is funny, but then there's te this, this technique. And then there's you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, look, look, a fat guy can still do. The truffle shuffle, hey, and it's fucking funny. You but know you, why? But Thomas, have you noticed that all the things that disgusting. you're doing? Wow. Okay. Well, all right. But we've been on this show. We know that's. Uh, <laughs> so Thomas, have you noticed that every time that you do the things that you say, always get a laugh, no matter who does them, aren't working for you? But I hear the laughs in my head. <laughs> all right. So Thomas, let's just talk about life for a second. You've d you've, so you've only done this a couple few times, right? Yeah, twice in the belly room. Right. And then the, and tonight. And every time, second time going up. Every time. Was it just the belly room because you were there? In <laughs> indeed. 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 So, so Thomas, let's talk about it. You're starting out in stand-up. I love it. That, that takes some courage. Uh, wh what you been doing up until this point? How old are you? 34. 34. And what do you do for work? Hold on. Uh... Um, Vegas DJ? That's a good fucking... At one guess. point. Partied with a few. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you do? Uh, I'm an actor. I also am a musician. I'm also a rapper. No, so I Jesus do all of it. Oh, I said Vegas fucking DJ. Yeah. Did I not say... Clap for my This guess. is what I do clearly the worst, but it's the most fun. Are you still cool with your parole officer? <laughs> uh, never had criminal charges, although... Okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> 
See? See? Laughs. So, Thomas, uh, you <laughs> said actor first. I said nothing. Laugh. Thomas, relax, oh. buddy. Yes, sir. Relax. Relax. You're going to go far in this town. I love them. <laughs> I love them. The first two people I met was Tony and Red Band. The first hour in this town is where I came. I'm sitting here, and I'm like this, and I go... Fucking oh Thomas, God stop, 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 stop. So stop. they're blaming on you. So, so everybody, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. <laughs> everybody, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> so Thomas, uh, we're, we're going to start with actor here. Yes. <laughs> have, you, have you been in anything that we might recognize? Uh, I was just in a movie that's, or it's an Amazon series, and it's called... Um, Shit, look at my MBD page. What? Fuck, oh, wow. I forgot. Hold on. You forgot I it? I smoked my vape pen. It's um, just Thomas Nash. Is it Mozart in the Jungle? You were in no, that, right? No, uh, da, 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 da. what was it called? Marvelous Legacy. Mrs. Maisel? It was called Legacy. Thomas, what's your last name? Uh, Nash. Thomas Channing Nash is what it is. How many MBD. Thomas Nashes must there be on that? Uh, <laughs> he's not the first There actually is a couple, so I had to put Channing. I thought people were weird when they changed their name in Hollywood. Turns out, no, other people have your name. So they're not as douchey as they were. Look oh, at wow. the size of this guy's fucking bio. Wait, that's that is that's him being what? born in the backwoods of Tennessee, performing that, at school. Oh, it sounds so wow. good when Santino reads it. Jesus, Jesus. Thomas Channing Nash was born to change people's hearts through the mediums of acting, music, and living a life. What? He's got a. Who wrote that? Your mom. He's got a huge body of. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I can change his quote. Hearts Andrew and Santino quote. If yeah, they, yeah so I I'm guess. Your fucking bio. If they ever need like a fat Walter White, you'd be great. Like, oh my God. He's got a huge body of work. And then also if I did just math, a huge body. I wouldn't be fat anymore. I'd be like Jonah Hill when he's not fat. He's not funny. You cancel everything great out about this show. It's people like you that just ramble. Like it's just like when you just like say every, you say every first thing that comes to your head and you think that it's fucking gold. Hey, you, ain't nothing wrong with silver. Ain't nothing wrong see, with silver. You just did it again. The egg, the you can't even help yourself. No, that I'm, was it, my laugh. Don't look. Don't point at it like that. No, that was like ten percent. I this got one's seven. mine too. You hear it? You hear it? It's still happening. That was still Rosie. Big. Rosie Riveter. One percent. No. You hear the quiet now? Damn it! But no, I hear laughs. I hear laughs. No. How many finished are, tattoos do you have? Uh, <laughs> I'm working on them. You no, know, the funny thing is, is the last one I got. This one, it hurt so bad, and it's the last one. I was like, I gotta stop. I'm done. I'm cool, done. cool. So I believe the second thing you mentioned was musician. Yes. Uh, what, uh, what musically? What you play any instruments? I play the drums, guitar. I you rap. really play the drums? Is that I true? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no, dude. Hold on. Let's this guy looks it, like bro. Peter Griffin. I figured tried you'd to be want cool. to hear the rap. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Wilson wants to do it at all. I, honestly, sure, I'll steal his soul, but you know. He wasn't even fucking worthy of this. this the only ridiculous. soul still in will be done by Santino. God uh, damn it. Dude, you are, still suck. Okay. I Everybody, know. <laughs> Thomas, are you, are you any good on the drums? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good. Great. He's confident. <laughs> oh? I don't think we should save it. I think. Wow, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, the come on. Dropper, There's Brian other comedians that want to get up. He's just I so mean, unlikable. I don't wanna. He's just so unlikable. Everybody relax. Wow, these people want it. Look at that. They're chanting for drums. Just take your hat off before you do anything. Please. Yo, I'm bald. Hey, I got to no, cover I, that bald spot up. You see that? I Shit. just don't even think we're on the same team. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey, say that says good fellow. I got that down in Venice. Don't care. Thanks. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> this is incredible. Thomas, you're, you're one of the worst humans we've ever had on this show. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. You had us at check my IMDb page, but uh, somehow that was the most likable thing you said your entire time up here. Can you give us some type of redeeming quality about you or something like that? Perhaps uh, uh, I'm doing co comedy at the well, comedy at the comedy store. I have no redeemable qualities. Wow! Tell Man. can you tell us the worst thing about you? Mm. You ever kick a puppy or anything like that? Mm. How about this? Let's close it with this. Can you give us one of the? Mm. Can you give us an example of uh, one of your raps? Could you? Could you? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Now I'm starting to feel an adrenaline rush. Give me the beat and I bet you a bust. Deliver the heat in the back of the trunk. What are you wanted to do when I come through with the voodoo? Me and my crew busting at you, pumping and dubbing on all of you fools. Yeah, I make the club go rowdy and they ask about my click. They say we bowdy, bowdy, bowdy. So bitch, get outy and never come back. Clap, oh clap, I'm a bird at all y'all ass. Hey. Fuck. Oh, wow. 
Wow. We take man. it all back, bro. We take it all yeah, back. Yeah, man. We were wrong, man. <laughs> we stand corrected. Sorry about that. True <laughs> talent rises Tim. at the end. That kind of music is not allowed under my roof. <laughs> <laughs> you're like uh, you're like Cypress. I like couldn't walk up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! How dare uh, you? Go a, fuck yourself. Well, if anyone knows how to walk up a hill, hell yeah, Thomas. I bet it's gonna. It be is good. not me. Thomas, we like you. Uh, we like you. Please don't hurt us. Uh, I would never. I don't. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on this show. Maybe, maybe, maybe you know, play a little bit. Maybe like think and like take beats and like think of things right before you say them. Just don't be angry. Like people can feel the anger when you're like yeah. being sarcastic almost, and you can feel that vibe, and you're not having fun. Especially, watching. you came to a show that's about. Uh, comedy and comedians doing comedy and people trying comedy and you came in and you like shat on the art form like the worst parts that you've seen because you've done a few like right shitty shows where the people are fucking with the things and they're not doing jokes and they're drinking beers but not all of these people uh, have been to those shows you know they're here at the number one live podcast in the world and you're talking shit about but it's called Death Squad Kill Tony! Get the fuck out of wow. here. There he Next. goes. <laughs> Thomas Nash, everyone. Human garbage. There he goes. <laughs> Proof that anything can happen on this show. It's literally random out of a bucket. How about a hand for Aphrodite? There's a nice positive... Uh, it's a good sight to see someone happy and smiling. And uh, do you want to announce what his nickname on IMDb was that he obviously put on his own IMDb? Not really. I want to move on, All but right. uh, Gigolo. Uh, let's uh, we'll talk about it next time if he gets pulled out of the bucket again. I feel like he's going to come back for redemption one day. <laughs> I feel like he's not going to give up that easily. This is a guy that does not know limitations clearly. <laughs> Put your hands together for your next comedian. Anything can, anything can happen. You must admit, this is a raw, organic show. You guys having fun out there, huh? We just met We just met a hateful guy. Tony, raw, organic, something that last guy doesn't know anything about. <laughs> this looks like a fun name. Put your hands together for Brandon Benderstadt. Hello, I was, uh, oh shit, I'm sorry, it's two brains, my last name was really fucked up, so I wasn't sure if What's you What's your last one. name? Uh, no, be honest. Whoa. How many of you want to have a Brandon off? Fight to the death. Wow. Fight right. to the death. All right. All Fuck right. each wait, wait, other. Wait, 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 Fuck wait, wait, wait. for dominance. No, let's do it different. Let, 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 let's do it differently than this. Brandon, you'll be next. Let's let this Brandon go first, and then we'll give you a second, then you'll come up. Fuck How about this that? guy. All right, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going first. <laughs> Okay, you go first then, Brandon. You seem yeah. like you're really taking a stand at this, but I'm just going to make you look yeah, better. It, You'd have another minute to get ready for your set, but okay, Brandon, you go ahead. I guess weird everybody's if a I would fucking go after villain my today. Name. Let's do it. Well, one more time for Brandon Benderstaff. Woo! Let's, let's take a second to give it up for the last comedian. Yeah, the Trump supporter. He was a good guy. No, uh... The one thing that blows my mind about Trump more than anything is how many women he's had to pay to not tell people that they had sex with him. That's just crazy to me because literally every single girl that I've ever had sex with has denied it for free. <laughs> now, uh, Trump's been saying all this bullshit about John McCain disgracing his name. I think that's pretty fucked up. I think we all wish that Trump was a little bit more like John McCain. At least the dead part. Oh, the left loved it. Weird. I'm more worried about the Supreme Court, though. Like, there's been all these weird issues like the gay rights. Like, there's the baker that didn't want to make the wedding cake for the gay couple. And then there was the florist that didn't want to do, like, the arrangement for the gay couple. My thing is, if you don't want to serve gay customers, maybe you shouldn't have picked the gayest jobs in the world. Maybe be like a bartender at a titty joint or something. 
Fuck yeah, sure, Brandon Benderstaff. Absolutely. Brandon, uh, you uh, you did it. Uh, you went first. Um, extremely anti Donald Trump set. Uh, really, uh, really. I don't know. I don't know if you've looked at the audience here tonight at all. These are these are all Fox News viewers. Uh, this is basically a Fox News convention here right now. Um, so uh, is that uh, is that something you're very passionate about politics, or is it just like this minute you're working on? That minute, baby. I had three jokes, one minute. Three jokes, oh. one minute. Yep. <laughs> yep. What other stuff do you normally do? How long have you been on stand-up? Oh, some of my, a uh, year and a half. Year, year and, and a half. half. But some of my best jokes are about my drunk mom. Yeah. Is that yeah. true? She, she's, uh. still a, she's still a, a drinking? Oh, she's an inspiration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Does she drink through your childhood? Uh, Yeah. Can I do jokes, or that doesn't work so well up here, huh? Well, <laughs> no. I mean, it uh, depends no, on how she, uh, seamlessly just... you can go into them there. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, well, it's kind of what the first minute was for. I feel like my bar is up here, but still, you know, it's like down. She huh. drank the whole time, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> oh, what do you, what do you, fucked up. What do you do, Brandon? Uh, I do like a lot of production assistant stuff. I'm out here trying to get into some kind of writer's room. And uh-huh. stand up might be a, a way to do it. So you're trying, you want to be a writer, so you're doing stand up to get into writing? I want it, I just want to get paid to be funny, man. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. typical, typical Hillary supporter. Uh, you just, I just want money for nothing. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. We got a little political on that oh, yeah, boy I, episode. I, I heard about that. People got a little wild, huh? Mm-hmm. I love it. So you're still going to let this guy go? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, wow, I'm, you're I'm just, so I'm mad. Just you just, it, it just Again, just like a Hillary supporter, you can't get over how this is all going down. Uh, my goodness. It's just unbelievable. So, so, much, uh, so much weird energies. You hate other Brandons? Is that a thing that happens a lot? Dude, they give us a bad name, yeah. Really? Uh, my goodness. It's a pretty common okay. fucking name, man. <laughs> yeah. There's about a thousand white Brandons in this room right now. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there's like two Brandon beater stats even. Which yeah, is yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what else about you, Brandon? What do you like to do for fun? You've been doing this for a year and a half. What else? What do you do at nighttime? He's like, uh, panic in my room all night. Uh, <laughs> Not call my room. mom. <laughs> Chew on my drywall. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Normal um, shit. I'm from the Midwest originally. Oh, so uh, get like, up out of town. Yeah, I know. Crazy. <laughs> Nervous guys from the small Midwest? Town, <laughs> small town Iowa. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, no, so I like fishing and going That's what in you boats. do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what I do in LA, yeah. <laughs> you go fishing in fishing. boats? Really? Is that true? <laughs> Not out here, Okay, no. so what do you do for fun out here? You ever go uh, out No, night? I go to a lot of bars, but honestly, I'm, I'm trying to hit open mics super hard right now, and they're at bars too, so it kind of works out. Uh-huh. Following in mommy's footsteps, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The apple cider doesn't fall too far <laughs> from the fucking tree, man. Is there like a night that stands out to you in, a past, in the past year and a half that's been fun for you, something wild? Uh, I think everyone here has had this experience, but I had a horrible night with Andy Dick recently. Oh, yeah. Who has it? Wow, yeah, tell I us know. about it. Yeah. How far did he get inside of you? <laughs> Join the club. Luckily, I was with a younger, ha- more handsome friend, so it wasn't just, an issue. Uh-huh. So he got... <laughs> he, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, nice. he's in trouble. Though. Well, what's the story, dude? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were at a bar. Apparently, he went to the same college as me, and one person... Wait, wait, wait. Sure and, he did. did? Yeah, yeah, not the same <laughs> yeah. graduating class. That's what he class. says to every guy that yeah. he meets. Oh, my God, we're alumni! <laughs> Ow! Um, no, wait, it, wh- it really, where'd you go? I went to be you. <laughs> It was kind of like that because you went to f- anal sex university. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Got the mask. Okay, Wilson. All right. Uh, so, uh, what was the college that you and Andy Dick both went to? Columbia College, Chicago. Wow. And uh, so, what did you guys do? I mean, uh, that, that's it. He just said we went to the same college. I want to uh, fuck your buddy. It, no. Obviously, cocaine was involved. Wow, it was. Yeah. You do that kind of stuff? If I'm with Andy Dick, you know, 
<laughs> when in Vegas? Sure. No, I don't know. Rome, what, I think. Venice? <laughs> uh, That's literally the guy you don't do drugs <laughs> with. No, yeah. It's the like, one you know, guy. only guy. I'm like, don't do drugs with that mm, fucking guy. Right. Even cokeheads take the night off around <laughs> Andy Dick. <laughs> I, I have no sympathy. His last name is Dick. You should have known better. Yeah. <laughs> and now we know that condoms break. <laughs> <laughs> that was Chroma Chris. From deep. And Al Borland Bill over there. Um, so, wow, that is interesting, Brandon. How did that night end for you? What was the last thing you remember of your night with Andy Dick? Uh, overpriced cocaine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then- were, you, were you doing it off of a uh, pillow? <laughs> 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 What, I'm being completely honest. We, he, we went to his like weird apartment, and yep. uh, yeah, he. <laughs> now we know you're being completely honest. Yeah. Don't mind the diploma on the wall that says a different college. Yeah. <laughs> My other diploma is down there. You have to bend over to see it. It's underneath the news radio uh, cast photo. Look! 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 look. Man, so, so annoying. Meet my roommate. He's an actor, musician, rapper. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, sober Andy Dick is literally the nicest guy in the world. But like, and it's always. I remember there was a while where uh, where he was he was sober, and then I was smoking pot in the back alleyway, and I'm walking through the kitchen to get back, like get to my spot or whatever, and I saw Andy from across the bar and uh, I'm like oh look it's Andy I, w- I, ho- I hope he's still sober and at that very moment he was he, w- he went to one of the waitresses like I need you I need you and started pawing at her with his actual like fingernails and she was she didn't she had no idea who the fuck it was it was some brand new waitress and it was uh, one of the most frightening things I've ever seen and you s- you you were like that guy's yeah. house I want to get fucked up with that guy yeah did, he, yeah did he paw at you like a kitten like I said, my, my friend was better looking. I can't so. wait to hear the other Brandon's Andy Dick story. I don't know about you guys. but yeah. uh, All right, how about another hand for Brandon Benderstadt, everyone? Brandon? There he goes, Brandon Benderstadt. Wow. How about this? Put your hands together for your next comedian, Brandon Van Janik. Hello. Uh... I was heavily bullied back in my high school, and my bullies used to kick the shit out of me. And they used to yell at me like, hey, queer, why are you so fucking gay? Now, I'm straight, but I was in one of the roughest drama clubs in Connecticut. (laughs) Connecticut drama clubs don't fuck around, okay? My bullies, they were the gay kids. Yeah. And being from Connecticut, we used to get bullied by other states. They'd call us Connecticut cunts. We are not the cunt. But we are definitely the taint. Because Connecticut connects you to your preferred pleasure points. You're either going to Boston or you're going to New York City. You might as well call us pathetic it. Now, ah, now, growing up, I was a huge sports fan. All right? So I was a Boston Red Sox fan growing up. Yep, the Boston Red Sox. And uh, yeah, you could could associate me with the mass holes. Now my brother, he was a New York Yankees fan. Now that's a definition of a cunt. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) My goodness. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. (laughs) <laughs> Cheers. Take I, that, Connecticut. I, I apologize. I apologize to the other Brandon. I really do. I'm very sorry about that. When I heard Brandon, Vin, I thought he, would he messed up the name. You look like Let it go. Yeah. I, I may be a cunt, but you're the one that just got fucked. So just re- <laughs> remember Fair that. Enough. that was His monologue ter- sounded exactly like a Universal Studios tour guy. It was t- <laughs> He's like, you ever been to Boston? Let me tell you about Boston. <laughs> Connecticut, eh? It was so fucking animated. <laughs> Don't uh, rehearse it so much. Yeah. You did, didn't you? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I like your style, it, man. I'm excited to have Rob Ronkowski's little brother on this show. <laughs> this is adorable. I am a Polak, yeah. My goodness. How long have you been doing stand-up? Only a little over a year. Only a little over a year. You can barely tell different last names from one another. Uh, uh, so a little over a year, originally from Connecticut. Yes. You've been in L.A. for a while? Yeah, almost 15 years. 
Yeah, almost 15 years. What have you been doing here? Uh, well, uh, to support myself, I'm a bartender, uh, but acting, voiceover work. And yeah, any, any acting projects we might uh, know you from? Uh, well, recently I just, I just uh, did a film uh, called The Outpost. Um, it should be coming out at the end of the year, if not in the beginning of the new year. Is that uh, The Outpost? That's about a night with Andy Dick? No, but uh, the I, did, I, did know, I, did, I did see Andy come in a few times to my bar. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he drink when he was at your bar? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, it's funny because I have met him when he is sober, and he's a really nice guy. Yeah. He's really cool. And, and then, then what happened? People would come on and say, oh, he was kind of grabbing me a little weird or just touching me, you know, like, you know, getting a little handsy. Right. But, I mean, listen, he never, nothing ever happened to me. I mean, he was always nice. <laughs> Feel bad about that? <laughs> This sounds like a de- fucking like a deposition. I mean, listen, not to me. I mean, I just fucking. I just want to make things clear before sound, the judge. Sounds you know. like a guy that's blown a load in Andy Dick's mouth to me. It was like, he was always nice to me. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about the guy. Why does he have anything to say about me? There's like a website that tracks all the Andy Dick stories, and like, there's like hundreds of them. I forget the name of it. It's yeah, crazy. it's called Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Brandon, uh, you a married man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Married for how long now? Uh, four and a half years. Four and a half years. You met her back in, uh, where did you meet her at? Were you at the bar at the time? No, 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 uh, England. England? Yeah. Wow, she's English? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And you were just traveling? Uh, I used to live in England. Uh, I did some school and just like, you know, a semester abroad. Wow. Uh, what were you studying in England? Uh, theater. Pussy, dude. He's Louise. Can you, uh, can you maybe give us uh, some... Can we see some of your acting chops? Perhaps we could do a scene from a remake of Home Improvement. He could play... Uh, this could be a scene where perhaps, I don't know, uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas comes home and uh, sees his father for the first time in a long time. Tim the Toolman Taylor. There, That's a- your dad. This is Brandon Venjanic. And this is... A, this, is uh, this is a scene from the remake of Home Improvement, a new 2020 version where uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas uh, sees his dad again for the first time in a very long time. Audience, you excited about this? All right, let's see it. Home improvement. Here we go. Uh, uh, dad, it, it's me. Do you, I, I know it's you. You're my son. I literally gave birth to you. You see those photos on the wall over there? No, don't put your hand on me, Dad. You know what? You know what? That's, that's, it's really You want to go? You know what? You no know? one talks to me in my house like this. You see this house? Yeah, I see it. I built it. Yeah? Well, you know what else? You know what else you did? You left me and my other brothers for another TV family called Last Man Standing. Whoa. 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 Explain yourself now, Dad. Whoa. Holy shit. If we're going down this road, <laughs> there's an episode in Home Improvement where I said that I'd help you fight the cancer. Guess what? It's back. (laughs) Oh, my God. Wow. Man, that is... I'm sorry, but that is theater at its finest. Awesome. Awesome. My goodness. Really well done. Awesome, awesome. Amazing on both parts. How about another hand for Tim, the tool man, motherfucking Taylor? Able to act, improvise the whole thing, and man, you came back there good at the end. I was, you know, I was wondering what, what what you were doing with your character, and then there you were. You blamed him for heading off to another network. Look at you, little smarty pants. I like your style. Well, Brandon, our friend works for. Oh, oh wow, what? you're just having side conversations station. right now. Are you that? Are you? Are you? You've been in LA 15 years. You're networking whilst on the show. Hey, yeah, my brother like works that. where uh, you like to have dinner with your family. Like, what the fuck are you <laughs> no, doing, dude? I know dude? what happened there. What does your friend work for? Yeah, what, what does your friend work? No, no, I'm saying that. Anastasia. We have a friend in common. Oh, okay. So I just thought it was interesting how she worked for uh, a friend of ours worked for uh, What Tim the Allen. fuck are you doing right now? 
Holy shit! He's trying to make a really, really very specific connection that no one in here is going to get, and I'm not going with you on it, sir. I'm it's going called down. a Hail Mary. For those of you Hail listening Mary. to the podcast, Rand Azizi is wearing a Yankees hat. He called Yankees You did fans. call me a cunt in the beginning. Cunts. Remember that, right? And now he's trying to make up for it. We're um, all cool because we have a mutual friend, right? Mutual. Mutual. All right, cool. All right, Brandon. <laughs> Good job, dude. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> so which Brandon did you guys like better? Uh, oh, I think, I don't know. I, uh, let's let the audience Brandon decide. Lee. Did you guys like uh, the first Brandon? Uh, how many the of you like the first, first Brandon? First Brandon. Let's hear it. How, how about second Brandon? Second Brandon. I think so. Wow. It's, uh, it's Thank a, you. It's a night for uh, for positive energy. Our, fr- our late friend Brody would be proud. Uh, yes. uh, that, yes. There he goes. Uh, Brandon Benderstad, everyone. We just had a Brandon off with an acting uh, with an acting challenge. Oh. More. More. My word. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Tim the Tool Man Taylor, can I just say better than ever acting? I've never seen Tim Allen act that good in my entire life, and he saved it here for Unkill Tony. I didn't even know Jonathan Taylor Thomas had cancer, so I mean, it was really shocking for me. That's just like the research this guy does before these shows. Every, I could see him sitting on his couch watching 800 Home Improvements just to get ready. It's the best. I love him. All right, Joel. Well, uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket, Joel, and you might be excited because this guy's name is Joel Malams. Joel Malams. Joel Malams. Are we having a Joel off right now? From a Brandon off to a Joel off. Hey. Step up back, my uh, Another friend. slow walker. Really? Oh, that's not even... Even... Hey. Okay. Oh, what a bunch of phonies. Ruh, ruh. Wow, just a few people left all at once. Joel my ass. Joel yeah, I guess I'm the only real land. one. It's, God, in the future, if you get if you don't get called, don't go up at the same time. Wait for yeah. the person to go on stage. That's weird. People just wait to go to the restroom right after uh, names called. How about a hand for Megan Sullivan, everyone, here? <laughs> ah. Wow, that was a woman. That was unbelievable. And, and she did a fake. That was unbelievable. People are fucking with us, and I love it. This is h- hilarious. Is this Megan Sullivan? Janice? Who's that? Oh, now people, we have fake people coming in and out at the same time. She's, oh, she's coming? You're Why the fuck her? isn't she in Where here is she? already? What? Wow. Oh, All we'll right, just straight hang. from the bathroom, no. Megan Sullivan. There's Waldo. One more time for Megan Sullivan, everybody. Yes, yes, my pants were just down. Um, Look, uh, my grandpa recently passed away. I had to go home for the funeral. It's not fucking funny. Uh, (laughs) But yeah, I mean, he was older, right? So he was ready to go and... Well, we know he was ready to, to go because he killed himself. <laughs> I mean, that's how you know. Someone wants to go, they, uh, they do it themselves, you know? <laughs> he, he set a goal and he accomplished it, right? I'm sure there's more than a handful here tonight of people who set the goal and are here tonight. <laughs> clapping away. <laughs> my grandpa only, uh, he, he only romantic, uh, well, sorry, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very funny. Megan Sullivan. Hell yeah. Funny. Cool. How long you been doing stand-up? Um, it'll be two years next month. Awesome. All here in Los Angeles? Yes. Oh, very cool. Or you, actually, I, well, I'll go back home. Uh, I'm from Chicago, and I'll do stuff there, too, so that helps. Very cool. Yeah. Did your grandpa really die? Mm-hmm. What was the last thing you were going to say at the end? Cut yourself oh, off. Oh, that he, um, he only romantically kissed my grandma, and then I was going to go into another bit. Yeah? About what? You could just say it. Uh, 
he romantically only kissed my grandma, and uh, I sucked 80 dicks. Hey, look at you. <laughs> a little misdirect person over there. Full of yeah. surprises. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I like your style. Do you always uh, dress like you're going on an Easter egg hunt in a construction zone? <laughs> this girl this looks like uh, <laughs> one of the people I caught my bread. S- s- <laughs> what just happened? I, Do we need to plug in the tool man? I had a, a heart palpitation <laughs> there for a second. <laughs> this girl looks like uh, one of the kids I caught my son Brad smoking marijuana with. Oh. oh. Did Peter Griffin find out? Shut <laughs> okay. up, Meg. So, Megan, tell us uh, more about you. How do you make a living? Um, I, am, I am currently between jobs. Mm. <laughs> uh, I most recently was working as a, uh, as, like, a showrunner's assistant for a show. Uh-huh. And what do you want your next job to be? Um, I've been kind of roll, like rolling around with that. What? I didn't. I didn't know what else. Was, I got nervous. Okay. Um, would you like to be the new Benford Tool Girl? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, actually, that Heidi is, just had a baby. Ugh. Um, yeah, that would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, you seem so cool. Tell us more about you. Like, what do you what do you do for fun? Like, uh, you seem like a hip girl. This is my grandpa's sweater. Ah, yes. So that's what that smell is. <laughs> Did he really kill himself? Uh, no. 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 Well, he didn't. he, he had, had oh. morphine injected, right? So, so yeah. that's assisted suicide. Oh. But so, yeah. you can't tell him this. Like he was told by the. You can't tell him this. I won't. Priest, that he, what he was doing was morally sound, and um. But I, I honestly do think it's assisted suicide. So, but anyway, what do you guys think? I don't oh. know. <laughs> so you, th- there's some confusion as to whether or not it was. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I mean, I think that. I mean, what do you? I mean, what's your stance on it? What? Wait, like, was, what do you think? Like, wait, was he suffering or anything? In my, yeah, yeah, he had in, cancer okay, for yeah, a long yeah, yeah, time yeah. and he was yeah. having a hard time breathing. Then, right? Yep, assistance suicide. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. my years of being married, this is a trap. <laughs> 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 My goodness. Is Grandma still alive? She is, yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, so they got to, like, be together at the end? Yeah. That's uh, exciting. How, how's she doing now? How's she holding up? Is uh, she dead yet? She's not. Bag of black we dudes. <laughs> Ooh. Wilson! That's one thing Megan will not joke about. Uh, Her grandma does not take... Black dudes? Black dick. No, I'll, take, I'll tell a joke about a, a black dude. I All mean, right, I don't know. No, um... Uh, I won't. What was? The <laughs> wow, Tim the Tool Man. <laughs> what, 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 what's your history with black people? I mean, what's going on over there? Is they breaking your shed? Sometime? We'll be right back after this commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Megan. Uh, what else? You're in your grandpa's sweater. What do you do for fun? You seem like you know where the uh, where the skating rink is or something like that, right? I wish. Uh, no. Uh, I don't really skateboard. I um, watch documentaries. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I love co- I love comedy. Yeah. I yep. said that in an interview once, and I saw myself lose the job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that job for? Uh, it was to work at Blumhouse, which is like a horror film yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You told an entire different genre that you like another genre. And then I tried to connect it back. Oh. I tried. I was like, you know, horror and comedy are really similar. You know, you try to build tension and get an audible response. I mean, I like. I saw. I saw my. Eh. Look, yeah. here's validation. Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. That's like. Uh, that reminds me of. Uh, recently, I had a meeting with Comedy Central, and I was like, Congrats. I love horror, and they're like, We have Amy Schumer. You're gonna love it over <laughs> here. Uh, no, I'm kidding, guys. That was a joke. See, no, he's just, not. just riffing, guys. It's a comedy no, podcast. No, he's not. He's serious. No, they said that. They said Amy Schumer's a whore. Um, <laughs> Al, I think your mom's calling into the podcast. <laughs> His mom's a pig. Uh. Well, Megan, that's so fun. Uh, my goodness. How long, how long of a set do you usually do? Like, what's your... 
Um, comfortable time. I feel comfy. I feel very comfy at eight. Eight, eight minutes? minutes? Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's honest. <laughs> People are like, you? oh, I got 30 minutes. You go, really? Well, I and love what it. I'm doing at eight. Like, I love what I'm doing at eight right no, now. No, eight is good. Yeah. I think that's an honest answer. People think they have more material than they do, and I thought that was an honest answer. Anything else for Megan, guys? Wilson, uh, what are you doing behind that fence back there? <laughs> well, I'm glad there. I'm... Honestly, I've never been more happy to be hidden by something. <laughs> Anything else for Megan, gentlemen? Uh, very job. funny. Very funny. Very funny. Did a great job. job. Thanks. That's nice. Yeah. I think you guys are great. So. You're the best comic we've seen by, oh, by in, far. in a long, long time. Oh, really? That's yeah. fucking great. Oh, my yeah. God. Thank you. There far. she goes. Okay. You did it. Megan Sullivan, everybody. Go back to the bathroom. Finish your shit. Very good. On to the next one we go. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Oh, this is a pretty nice crowd tonight. Yeah. This, uh, this is an interesting one. A bunch of nice, nice people here. It's a real wholesome group. This is, uh, it's very exciting. Pulled another name out of the bucket. This sounds like a powerful name. Look at this shit. Can you believe this? This wow. real? I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see this. Make some noise for Octavius Thunder. Wow, here he is. One, one, all right. One more time for Octavius Thunder, everyone. That's not my real name. Uh... I look like a president of a fraternity called Sigma Data Rapa. Uh, my mom always says I'm handsome, which is weird because she only fucks all my friends. My dad used to play catch with me when I was a kid. Catch these hands. He used to beat me. Um, I, I think I finally found the one. I met her on an abusive relationship dating site called eHarmMe. And she's like a hardcore Christian, but she's also into bondage, so every time we have sex, she likes to nail me to a cross. Um, but I think she's the one, so I'm going to try to get her pregnant, because there's nothing more intimate than going through an abortion together. I do think abortion is murder. However, I think you should be allowed to murder your kid. If you can murder one thing, it should at least be the thing that you've made, right? Fuck yes. Look at that. Coming in and dropping the hammer. Holy shit. That was an incredible set. Uh, you're clearly uh, just coming in, popping in from uh, bartending at a hotel across the street. Uh, this is incredible. <laughs> My goodness. So what? Are we, Octavius Thunder is not your real name. Is that what you want us to call you? Uh, my name's Eli Halpern. Eli Halpern. Hell yeah. But, um... I signed up a while ago, like a year ago, and wasn't here, and I thought you blacklisted my name, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is such a random, uh, interesting uh, fun fact. So, all right. Uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Yeah, he looks like he's wearing the couch that he sleeps on. <laughs> <laughs> So Eli, um, <laughs> he's, got, he's got a great nervous laugh. Like he might fucking murder everybody. I said, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it's like writhing inside. I've been asked by girls a lot if I'm a serial killer. Like <laughs> before they go home with me, they're like, wait, you're not a serial killer, right? And like, it's weird. It's weird, like kind of flattering. I'm like, uh, like a high school girl being asked if she's a model. I'm like, no, I'm not a serial killer. Like, I mean, I've thought about it, but I've never actually done it. <laughs> That's true. I could see it. There's something very Ted Bundy about you. There's <laughs> yeah. also. There's something even more Al Bundy about you. <laughs> so, Eli, you, th you thought you got blacklisted. Here you are, uh, signing up under a different name. The only offense that actually gets you blacklisted. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, about three years. Yeah. All in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. What do you do for work? Um, nothing. <laughs> yeah. I've been wearing these clothes for like three days. How do you survive? Um, I, had, I used to work at a mortgage brokerage, and then I had an Amazon store, and so I got some money saved up, and I... <laughs> okay. That sounded like a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to make it entertaining. 
Uh, what, what were you selling at your Amazon store? Action figures? <laughs> what? What were you selling at your Amazon store? Why, why Ayahuasca? Yeah, that was it, Tony. That's where he snaps, right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Action figures? Yeah. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? All right. Uh, so what were you selling in your Amazon store? Uh, kitchens. I made a shit ton of money off fidget spinners. Uh-huh. You remember when that was a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it stopped being a thing like that. Like yeah. two weeks. How many, yeah, dude. How many fidget spinners do you have in storage <laughs> facilities around? I the just store? got rid of 1,500. <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't sell them for – I was trying to get like 100 bucks. Who's even them? buying them? Do you have Would to, you like, think the no fidget one. spinner m- b- market was never going to burst? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is it forever. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to want one of these. Who's never going to not want to fucking Babies, stare at your moms, fingers? Dads, one, dead people. One day they're not even going to have currency. It's just well, going to be a, fidget spinners. <laughs> Bitcoin, <laughs> fuck that. You heard of fidget spinners, dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, as a, someone with autistic tendencies, I was going through like 10 a week. So Really? But, you have <laughs> autistic Going God. through them. When you say autistic <laughs> tendencies, can you give us some examples of what else you think your autistic tendencies might be? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it's just an excuse to be an asshole. I used to so sell like, oh, no, I've asked later. Sorry. Uh, do you have a, uh, but, 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 uh, like when do you do that? When do you ever <laughs> need to fake that? Fake diagnosis? Uh, I don't know if I'm losing an argument for being an asshole. Right. You go, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm man. Af- I'm Asperger's. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Instead of losing the argument straight up. I'm retarded. Don't be mad at me. Wow. That's impressive. How old cool. are you? You seem like a stepson and a stepdad at the same time. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You have like more steps. It but... seems like you abuse yourself. And you seem like a pedophile and also a victim of a pedophile. Yes. No, you're right. That's, ab- that's, actually, that's actually true. I, uh... You want to open up that fucking box, you're going to get fucking... It's going to be a bad day for you, bud. <laughs> what do you mean? This would be the highlight. So do you, yeah, though. You like... <laughs> Um, yes, Eli. So very good. Um, I actually <laughs> am a pedophile victim, so that hurt. Yeah, uh, that's weird. yeah how do you feel about that? Yeah, that's a, that's the sound. I got molested by a dog when I was uh, when I was oh, a little boy. Oh, yeah, you feel good about it that now? A, uh, huh? You brought up trauma. I don't want to hear a dog getting tortured. Put on like a crying child. Okay, Eli. Uh, so tell us uh. more about yourself, Eli. What else about you? Um, I travel a lot. Where do you go? How? Um, how? Yes, how? Usually by basketball court. Plane, fidget spinner money. Your plane, fidget spinner train. Amazon store yeah. is floating your travel around the world? Yeah, man. Really? Yeah, I, was, I went to Thailand for like three months and I spent like $3,000. You're the first guy that I think went to Thailand on a bird scooter. I'm just going <laughs> to let you know. Incredible. <laughs> Thailand for how much? Three months. Oh. That's when I decided to start doing comedy. I, I was on like a 10-day mushroom binge and then... And then, <laughs> and then I accidentally fucked this guy for like five seconds. What? Ah, there you go. Happens all the time in Thailand. <laughs> Wait, you, yeah, you no, I went there. I went there and I'm like, I'm not going to be another statistic. No fucking way. Not me. You not me with all my fidget spinner money. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. can't fuck someone for five seconds. Oh, I, I, put, I thrust it and then I was like, wait a minute. Her shorts are still on. That's she not didn't fucking. charge me money. Her shorts are still on. They were like down to here. Just yeah. like, so what did you see? Yeah. I didn't see. I, okay. Oh, okay, put Brody away. Let him. I was like five pumps rest. in. Five pumps in. Get it out of there. Okay, I'm maybe rounding down. Pump a second. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> the condom break. This guy's a pump a second. I felt I felt like a 360 degree like rectal clamp. Yeah, because that's uh, what it was. And then I just jumped down. I was like, "Let Tim, me see your fucking Tim, pussy," which Tim, I think hold is on inappropriate. A second, hold on, Tim. Do you have one of those? Do you have a rectal clamp on your uh, tool belt yeah. there? Yeah, it's got a, uh, a big block Chevy 454 engine attached to it. <laughs> okay, and uh, go ahead. Um, and I, which is a reasonable question to ask someone that you're having sex with. Did you, uh, did you were you wearing a condom? Yeah. Oh, you were. Okay. It broke. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, 100%. Was it one of those condoms no. that you only wear when you're on mushrooms and only you see it? Yeah. It broke on the no, shaft. Man, this, this bitch was fucking ugly. That's, how, that's why I knew she was not... That's why I thought she was a girl, because she's so ugly. I'm like, like the, t- the hottest girls in Thailand are guys. Wow. Earning a Jeez. lot of stripes with the oh, ladies, yeah. I see. She was so, you're saying she was so <laughs> ugly that she had to be a man? No, she had to be a girl, because the transgendered All women the hottest in, women in Thailand are the guys. <laughs> Take yeah. it away, Red Band. Wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's two, two, three, It's four. actually simple math. 
We're going to our uh, chief Thailand correspondent, yeah. Brian Redband. Yep. We're Who's going live to Brian. Did you, did you end, up hooking, end up hooking up with any uh, mm-hmm. women, though? Like, did you? Uh, yeah. How much did it cost? 10, 15 bucks? Yeah. Uh, you can get a. Three fidget massage. spinners? You can, you can get a great massage for like $6. And by massage, I just, I just mean massage. Wow. You can get tip, a hands off or an extra man buy. Taylor. Yeah, I think you just need to own the fact that you're gay and not autistic. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness gracious. Big difference. Have you gotten an STD test since coming back from Thailand? <laughs> yeah, several. Really? I've never had an STD. My goodness. Test. I don't believe that, incredible. dude. I don't either. <laughs> wow. You look like the OxyClean guy, dude. I like dude. this guy. <laughs> you got that Penang. Me? I look like the OxyCotton guy. <laughs> Matt, you're good. Yeah, that's you funny. Are. All right, cool. Take that. You can have it. <laughs> Brian's dying of laughter, I guess. All Brian right. loves this guy. I do. Uh, he's, he guy seems like he's fine. This is a guy. This is a guy that Brian ago. can relate to. You know, they go to uh, they go to they go to take trips. They'll put their dick in anything, basically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the before and after a weight loss commercial with Redman. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, Eli, you did it. You're not blacklisted, and you had a great set. Yeah, uh, thank you. you know, oh, good stuff, uh, dude. Could I, could I plug my podcast? No. Here we go. You've already Jesus been plugged, Christ. dude. No. My goodness. You're like, you're, AIDS you're monkey out of podcast? What are you? Just can't get uh, enough. It's called Casperger's. Sorry. There but you go. It's on the internet forever now. But thank you so much. There you go. There <laughs> he is. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Uh, go back to the bucket or uh, get our regular up here? Regular, what do you then think? go back to the regular. You want to go to the regular? Let's do it. You guys like regulars? We have, uh, we have a guy that writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Uh, we love him here. You know, he has his, uh, he deals with a lot of haters uh, uh, on the internet and whatnot. He's wild. He's so fun. He's been looking for his friend Tony Chin. Ladies and gentlemen, Make some noise for the great and powerful William Montgomery, everybody. Here he comes. He's in the flesh. (laughs) William motherfucking Montgomery. Here he is. Come on, make some noise for William, everybody. So I'm uh, working on a movie where I get into bar fights in Japan. It's called... Crouching Tiger Hidden Pool Cue. I'd like to give y'all just a little taste of that. Hold on, Yoshi, where's my pool cue? <laughs> I'm about to fight someone. Let's give it up for Tony Chin. I've been, uh, I've been looking for him. Um, He's out of the sewer system. Shut the fuck up. I got a lot riding on this. Shut it down. So uh, they have a Rosetta Stone for deaf people now, which is cool because my uncle's deaf. Um, I would like to give y'all a little piece of that movie. Um, Hold on, Yoshi, where's my pool cue? See, it scares me. I thought that was probably going to be the biggest laugh of tonight. (laughs) Wow, look at that. William weathering the storm. We liked it a lot. For those of you uh, listening to the show, I don't know if maybe uh, your audio uh, picked it up, but he got uh, sort of... That, that, the, that wasn't planned at all, right? That guy over there just sort of went crazy for a second because your jacket's sort of... Yeah, what's your thing. fucking name? <laughs> William is mad at this guy. Wow, Held up his that. jacket. I mean, it is a very similar jacket. Yeah, I don't think I'd interrupt an entire show for it over there. <laughs> I mean, they're both very gay You, you would think this was a show where the theme is if your jacket matches the guy on stage that you win some massive prize, but... Uh, I'll just... Uh, I don't... Andrew, I know you were hoping I wasn't going to bring this up, but Andrew and I were, uh, were <laughs> brothers. We were in uh, Phoenix yesterday. 
We uh, went to a sex club. I have a <laughs> STD called chlamydia. I was giving it to a bunch of people. Andrew, Andrew was like, William, hold on, put a condom on. You have a, a disease that <laughs> could be spread around. Nice to see you. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my brother. <laughs> I... Will, William looks like the actual whiskey ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's the jacket you would wear if you had a lot riding on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a this is a very dressed down uh, William yeah, Montgomery. Yeah, I love normally, it. normally he's not wearing very socks formal. with his sandals. This is very. Uh, this just is picture a cutscene. I started writing these movies. Just a cutscene. Ninety six Atlanta Olympics. Me walking in with my pipe bombs <laughs> in my backpack, just looking like this. Just. Trying to have fun, just knowing I'm spreading uh, chlamydia around. Uh, no, I'm having to deal with Tony Chin. What the fuck? Why did you do that? <laughs> so mad. I was fucking doing good. And then he pulled that. I'm serious. Somebody get him out. Will, you want this guy out of here? You want Get him out? out. Door guys. Door guys. I don't know. I feel sort of bad for that guy. <laughs> Is he gone? Is he by himself? Are you by yourself? Like he seems like an innocent, uh, nice guy. <laughs> David Deary's on the scene. For those of you just listening, again, David David is an extremely nice guy. He thinks that guy's a nice guy. I, I think we're at a standstill here, William. Uh, William, what do, you, what do you think we should do? Should we kick the fucking guy out? Should we beat him up a little bit? Hey, Dave. I don't know. Weirdly enough, he and I, uh, Tony and I, were in... Uh, uh, is Alaska that actually... two years ago, literally spreading STDs around. All right. William, over here. William, William, William. Stick with me over here. Uh, is that, is that, have you ever seen that guy before over there? What's your name, asshole? <laughs> what? That's not your middle name, dude. Don't do that. Your name's Richard Pace. Wow. All right. All right. Uh, Get him, him out. out. Kick Get him, him out. out. Kick him <laughs> the fuck out. The tribe has spoken. <laughs> I tried. I How about sticks. this? I, I, I would rather... I, no, it's fine, but like, don't do that. Don't fucking... Don't be that guy that interrupts the middle of a fucking... Sh don't do that shit, okay? Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Oh, I shit. have tonsillitis, dude. I have two weeks to live. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's let him stay, right? He seems like a nice He's guy. Fine. We have our security guard. Put, the, put your hands together for Hakeem Olajuwon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you remember him from the Houston Rockets. By the way, not on me. By the way, I, I shake that guy's hand every week. His hand feels like it's made of rock. Yeah, he's like a different human being. It is unbelievable. You, you guys are good, right? You're gonna behave yourselves. There you go. They're yeah, okay. cool the fuck out. They're okay. They look step like away from the talent. Him and his friend both look like Joel Berg. <laughs> Let's let him stay. Uh, All right, fair enough. William, anything else uh, happened this week that you're excited about in life? Anything? I literally, on Saturday, I did a, uh, a show. Um, Phoenix, yeah, keep that going. I did a, uh, did a show in Phoenix, Arizona. I uh, was having a decent amount of fun. Um, ended up getting far too drunk on gin and orange juice, my mom <laughs> called me a bunch, just asking, William, what's wrong? Why aren't you answering uh, uh, the telephone? Um, and then what happened, William? Uh, is, that the, is that the whole thing? Did, did, did you just fall asleep awake? Just fall asleep with your eyes open I'm on the a show? Flashback. Did you just have a little sugar crash there, William? Did you get dizzy? I got real dizzy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I did. Yeah. No. I have. Uh, I have a, a thing called my tonsils hurt. I have uh, tonsillitis. I don't know if y'all realize the little girl in uh, the Poltergeist movie died of tonsillitis. I'm currently. I have it now. <laughs> wow. William, why do you look like the groundskeeper at Neverland Ranch right now? I guess that's really the... He looks like the oldest golden girl. Where? Two, <laughs> two years ago... Two years ago, I that got my good. first job in a place called Toshiba, Japan. Uh, 
You might be familiar with it. They made a lot of televisions at one point in time, but I was in Toshiba. Oh, my God. You were not in a Toshiba, Japan, William. All right, one last question. <laughs> I, William, William, honest question. I got to know, where do you find a jacket like that? That thing has little bells. Are those little bells on the front? Jingle are those em. little tiny bells? Jingle them, baby. They are. But where did you get that? <laughs> where did that? <laughs> he tried to make the bells jingle. Where'd you get the jacket from? Uh, a wonderful uh, place. You can get some really good feud there. It's called uh, uh, <laughs> the Cracker you? Barrel. It's a you got that jacket at the Cracker Barrel? I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> William, sometimes I feel like you're lying to me. I'm sorry. I was just trying to sort of keep it light. Literally, uh, Saturday night, I was in Phoenix. I went to this sex club place. <laughs> uh, I had been going to the bathroom. Uh, blood everywhere. I knew why, something. Why, wait, 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 wait. Why was there blood everywhere, William? What? What did you do? Were you pissing it's a, blood? It's an autoimmune deficiency. Oh, my right. God. Um, right, that adds Where up. does it come from? It comes from uh, Toshiba. All right, you're mixing together. (laughs) There he is, William Montgomery, everybody. Come on, he's got a lot on the line. Make some noise for the guy. What do you guys think? Should we go back to the bucket again, huh? I love William. Oh, geez, that sort of seemed lukewarm, but we'll do it anyway. I'm, I'm, I can hear the, the thousands and thousands on... Uh, wow, look at oh, that. Wow, 5, hello. People, huh? uh, greetings to the uh, lot of, uh, lot of uh, people watching on YouTube right now. Okay, uh, put your hands together for your next comedian, Kyler Bentley, everyone. Kyler <laughs> Bentley. Oh, wow, here he comes. Here comes Kyler. You got a uh, light up there, Danny? Uh, you want to just uh, swing it from there, or what's the move? What's the move? How do you want to do it? Let's do it. David Deary's going to help. We're going to keep it going. We got more music. Is that possible? The, the wheelchair's too wide. No, you can't. You, you're going to get him stuck. Oh, now he's stuck. Oh, that, this is it's a bad a tight Get squeeze. him up. Get him up. Get Here we go. Up. It's amazing that you guys did that. You got it. Hell yeah. We did it. That's the first. One more time for Kyler Bentley, everybody. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting this. There's so many people here. So I hope you like physical comedy. <laughs> yeah. If if this goes well, I plan on doing a stage dive, so <laughs> front row here, don't let me get hurt again. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. People always ask me all the time, how do you get hurt if you don't mind me asking? And they always word it that way. If you don't mind me asking. And I'll answer, just to let you know, you're annoying. Um, I just moved into a senior living facility. And uh, I met a woman. Yeah, I did. Uh, We're taking things slow, though. I want to wait until her body's cold. There you go. There's a minute from Kyler Bentley. Hell yeah. Kyler, welcome to the show. This is your first time on. I'd remember you. Yes, sir. I well, think this is the first probably wheelchair on stage ever. Yeah, this I think is so. the first yeah, ever wheelchair on the stage in this room. We have Fuck had yeah. uh, Wheeling and dealing. Our buddy from San Diego. Remember uh, on the the side of the stage? That was up Uh, in the belly room, but you are the first to get up here. Uh, The bad news is we have no idea how you're going to get down from here. Uh, You might be here next week, too, uh, because you might just stay here. 
Um, hope you like uh, chicken fingers and French fries. That's all they have to eat here at the comedy no, store. No, I'm going to stage well, dive. The comedians are going to catch me here. Okay. No, I, they won't. I love that. No. I promise they won't. <laughs> Physical comedy. Yeah. I love it. Kyler Bentley. Is that your real name? That is my first and middle name. Oh, okay. Why Bentley? Because they have wheels. No, it's, it's my mom's maiden name. Oh, cool. What's your real last name? Smith. Oh. Why the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, Smith. How long have you been doing uh, stand-up comedy? Uh, eight well, mi- eight minutes, nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> this, was your, this was your first time ever? Oh, no, no, I've done oh. maybe five times, a couple oh. open mics. Yeah. You've only done it five times? I've been doing it about a month. Fuck. Really? Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Dude, there were That's some people great. up here yeah. that were here for... I don't know how long they said, but f- it was f- fucking way way worse. longer. Yeah, yeah. Was, For mo- what you uh, did, yeah, you definitely really have a, you definitely have a leg up on most people that have been only doing it a month, which I guess <laughs> puts you uh, yeah. negative one legs. Uh, anyway, Tony, I would say some people shouldn't even step foot on the stage, and uh, <laughs> yep, you really did that tonight. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you're not enjoying any of those. Yeah, he doesn't like those, huh? You like those? What? You like those jokes? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like feels that. good. Good so job, Joel. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I hope you don't mind me asking, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> what happened? Uh, what I don't happened know. Here? I got a lot of stories that I like to make up because I get sick of telling it. Uh-huh. Uh, like, uh, I used to date a bodybuilder, and I was eating her pussy, and she snapped my neck. Ah, the orgasm oh, was oh, 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 oh. Tim the Tool Man Taylor likes that <laughs> one. He likes getting roughed up. Oh, I've snapped my neck a lot of times going down there. Hell yeah! Um, but it happened in a snowboarding snowboarding accident. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, God, like, I want to know what it. Uh, can I please? And, Andrew's a uh, Andrew. You snowboard a lot. I, yeah, I want to know how it happened. A uh, couple of drinks going off a jump too fast that I. Uh, Hadn't checked out and right. just flew to the bottom. Helmet. No helmet? No, I had a helmet. The, that was yeah. like the one thing that wow. there was a force above saying, your brain is too important. Uh, put this helmet on today because I never wore one before that. Wow. It, it oh. was like my buddy's helmet. I was walking down the stairs. I kicked it, and I was like, you probably should pick this up today. And Damn. Wow. wow. That's wow. unbelievable. What were you drinking before you went out there? Um, my other friend left a bottle of Bacardi in my snowboard boots. So Limon? No. <laughs> uh, Shout out to Bacardi Limon. Silver. Sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God someone. <laughs> there, go, there definitely goes our Bacardi sponsorship. <laughs> Fuck, uh, yeah. Damn it. Bacardi, wow. Bacardi, when you want to break your neck. Break your motherfucking neck. Snap your neck. Well, I'm glad my you wore a helmet, goodness. dude. Yeah. Me glad too. you're here. Heck yeah. You're f- that was really good stuff. Can I tell you, though, that, that like the only time we've done any stand-up critique tonight uh-huh, at uh-huh. all, that, that the whole joke of how you've broken your... Like you say, oh, I want to do a bunch... I, I lie to people. Do the, that's good. I'm like, no, one of the I, other ones that you have. I've got... Uh, that's good. That's, that should have been the fucking... I want to hear how the lies that you tell. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What is it, some of the other uh, ones that you say? Uh, this guy, Johan, uh, he was like a grizzly bear of a guy... And I, I hate that guy. Yeah, well, I think he was part grizzly bear because I never met his mom, and he lived on top of a mountain. Um, but he hated weed smoke in his house, and he caught me smoking weed in his house one time, and I ran to blow the weed smoke out of his door, and as I got two steps from the door, I passed out and smashed my face into the door. Wow. And that really happened. That really happened, but it's not how I broke my neck. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, weed doesn't hurt people, dude. No. So cool. You're baked right now, by the way. No, I don't smoke weed anymore. Oh, no? No. Your eyes are just... Uh... Yeah, that's... I don't know. I was in Vegas all weekend, and eyes white come back here, and they're red again. Okay. The only thing he happened. burns is rubber, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, Tyler, how when, long ago... When, when you do ecstasy in a wheelchair, is it still considered rolling? All right. Uh, 
<laughs> Kyler, how long ago? How long ago was your accident? Was that early on in life? Recently? Uh, Thirteen years ago. I'm having a bar mitzvah for my paralysis. <laughs> hey, look at that. When you were flying through the air off of that snowboard launch, were you like to infinity and beyond? Wait, why would he? Why would he do that? It's another Tim Allen character. Oh, oh is. really? <laughs> 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 you look exactly like Woody. You should know this. Oh, come on, come on! Why would you say that? I can't. I can't even think right. There's a fucking snake in my boot right now. There's anyway. a snake in my boot. All right. Uh, so Kyler, 13 years ago. So what is it? What, uh, how does that go for you? Were you were you very depressed for a while? Like you uh, still? Were you, oh, geez, were you don't, amped don't about bring it, it when it happened? Yeah. <laughs> don't bring it up. How psyched were you at the end? Yeah. I mean. Tight. You ever go wheelchair snowboarding since then? Uh, they yeah, it's not the same. I grew up snowboarding my whole life, uh. and that sucks dick having somebody kind of like scoot you around the mountain. Fuck. Yeah. What I, mountain did it happen uh, on? North Star at Tahoe. Fuck oh, North wow. Star. Yeah. Fuck that place. <laughs> Don't ever go there. Don't support that piece of shit place yeah. ever again. If they <laughs> Actually, had we're sponsored were by North Star out, Tahoe. Oh, fuck, yeah, we are. That was, uh, go yeah, to North Star Tahoe, man. <laughs> Takes out the week. <laughs> Thank you. Brings back Thank the you. strong. Did Santino just Yelp review a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So, uh, Kyler, how about now? Like, what else, what else do you do? What do you do for work? Uh, nothing. You do nothing, right? Yeah. You basically get to do nothing after yeah. that. Where, nice. Did you... Uh, did you um did you get like uh, money or anything like out of an accident or you something sue, like did that? You no, sue the jump? No, on your season pass it says this is dangerous shit you're doing. Yeah, and we are not liable for any fuck up you make. Right. So you spun that wheel. Yeah. Anyway, uh, again, keeping it on, keeping it on. Say Tyler. whatever you're gonna say. You're gonna say something mean to him. Go yeah, ahead, do it. Yeah, that one didn't work. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Kyler, any other hobbies? You just started this. You've only done it five times. Is there no, anything that you uh, do like to do? I uh, play pool in a league. Wow. Oh, wow, really? That's fucking awesome. Nice. Yeah. Did you always play pool before, or is this something that you just mm, caught on to? No, I, uh, I mean, I played before, but it never, like, seriously, and then I taught myself a technique that works for me. And That's fucking awesome. Uh, cool. You like doing stand-up, too? Is that fun? It's going fun right now, yeah. That's so cool. This worked out tonight. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. I love it, man. I love that. That is so fucking cool. You gonna, are you going to keep doing it, or is this just you're dabbling? Or you really want to do this? No, I really want to do this. Good, man. You should. You're, you're a funny yeah. dude. You should keep yeah. fucking doing for it. For sure. I think you have a real knack for it. I think naturally. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, dude. you came up here, and uh, I think we were all very surprised when you said that you've only done it five times. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's very, very, very fucking You from exciting. the Bay Area? Northern California. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know if the Warriors won? I don't know. They were down a lot. Oh, we got bad news for you. We got bad news uh, for you, bud. Uh, yeah, brother. They, they all died. They all, they're dead, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Every single one of them dropped dead. Horrible, they got, horrible. I, they got in a snowboarding accident. Some yeah. asshole <laughs> put <laughs> shots of Bacardi. kickers all over the fucking court. Shots yeah. of Bacardi and, before and the game. They all ran into each other in the I middle chose court. I just come in here and wait for my name to get pulled rather than watch the game, and I'm glad I did stay You're here. Yeah. So that's awesome. Fuck yeah. That's absolutely awesome. How about that? Kyler Bentley. Um, well, Kyler, anything else you want to say or ask or anything you want? Uh, no, I'll, I'll be back. I love it. Yeah, please do. Please, please come do back. Absolutely. That was great. Kyler Bentley, ladies and gentlemen. He is, he's on Instagram at Kyler Bentley Comedy. And that is an episode of Kill Tony. We did it live from the Comedy Store. Kyler Bentley was on the oh, show. Hey, look. Ryan J. Ebelt drew Hey, something. look at this drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, everybody. Make sure you catch Steve Ranazizi's podcast. What's the odds? Live every Wednesday at 2 p.m. on YouTube, all things comedy. And, uh, yeah, he's at Cobbs this weekend. Cleveland Hilarity's next weekend. How about another hand for Steve Ranazizi, everybody? Andrew Santino's got Whiskey Ginger available on all platforms. Vegas this weekend. And Raleigh Goodnight uh, next weekend. How about another hand for Andrew Santino, everybody? Let's see how, uh, how loud can this place get for the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. Tim, the tool man, Taylor.
The new Reagan and Watkins album is out June 7th. He's on all social media, Jeremiah Stand Up. He's got a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders out. What today? Who's your guest? Rafina Bastos. Whoa, fuck yeah, I love it. Uh, anything else, Jeremiah? Yeah, June 6th, uh, here in the Comedy Store main room, we're doing an album release party for Reagan and Watkins. We'll have uh, some of our favorite stand-ups, and we'll be closing out with some songs from the album. So join us that night. How about it? Uh, how about another hand for uh, Chroma Chris over there, huh? <laughs> two for two. Like, <laughs> Roseanne Barr. I know, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I can't grow facial hair like you, Tony. I'm wow. sorry. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. You can't. Uh, uh, and then how about another hand for Wilson? Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, everybody. Joel's mostly sorry on all social media sites. Anything else, Joel? Thank you to Ludwig Drums and to everyone who believes in us. Thanks for fucking coming out. We love you. I absolutely agree with that 100%. Phoenix, Arizona, Vegas, Salt Lake City, Boise, Spokane, Portland, Vancouver, Seattle, Lawrence, Omaha, Des Moines, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, New York. We're coming for you. We're coming on the road. Uh, uh, Red Band, anything else? No, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, guys. We love you. Good night, everybody.